So we did it. Yes, we did it. But uh, this is technically the last kind of day of the Grand Design Rally. back guys she's I'm back. back we're doing it again we're hanging out many Finally. many of you wondered if she would ever return you guys would be stuck with just me well here's your answer here. she's back and better than ever and we are back in quartzite arizona yet again this is like again. my fifth time this this season this winter season but it's okay i like it you know why it's great for large meetups we are here for the grand design rally Yes. This what is weekend. this? What is this, dear? This is a grand design rally. You actually don't know anything about it no. because because you've been she's coordinating been so everything. busy. Basically, uh, we're here with a bunch of other grand design owners and grand design themselves are here. They have technicians here, people putting on an event, basically to kind of hang out and talk with other owners and talk about why we love this brand mm -hmm. that is grand. They have uh, some seminars going on. There's gonna be a chili cook-off. There's a cornhole tournament. We are set up here at the old rally. You get the old Imagine with our new solar setup. A lot of people asking questions because it's awesome. If you want something like that, Nomad Mods, hit them up. What am I doing right now? So one of the things that they got going on, uh, I think, I don't know if it's every rally, but they got going on is a chili cook-off. You guys know we love chili and we do our best to throw our chili in there to see what people think so i'm prepping that right now so we got all of our peppers onions jalapenos we got ground sausage ground beef and of course of course it's all going in the smoker for a few hours before it goes into the chili pot you guys know that we do the ketogenic diet so our chili will be no sugar and i like to smoke everything before because it gives it much much more flavor and then the chili cook-off is actually tomorrow so you gotta let it simmer overnight, very low. That's the key. Let all the good flavors break out. What else do they have? Uh, they have a cornhole tournament. Um, obviously group fires every night. Opening ceremony is soon. I'm gonna try and go over there and catch that. They have like a meet and greet tonight. So that's like, it says, uh, I think they said like, share lunch with your neighbor or something. So you just kind of walk around and share food, whatever, I don't know. And uh, they have a few other things. So we're gonna try and show you guys what is going on and kind of give you an idea. You know that we love our grand design. We've only had it for a short while, but we absolutely love it. We love their customer service. They actually have multiple technicians out here fixing rigs, uh, fixing issues that you may have with your RV, which is cool. I don't really know of any other company that does that. Maybe I'm just not informed, but that's like what's so great about this company. They do these rallies. They have people out here fixing things, and it's just another great way to meet like-minded people. So, we're excited. So, right off the bat, I barely got the smoker fired up, and now it's opening ceremony. Unfortunately, Melissa has to work. So, I'm gonna walk over here, kinda check it out, see what's going on. It's so cool to see a brand that does stuff like this. And it is sponsored, I believe, by like Grand Design. They donated a meal and uh, they have their guys out here working on stuff. Grand Design Technicians. <laughs> As you saw yesterday, they were already, they weren't supposed to start work until today, and they started yesterday, and they went through a lot of rigs doing inspections for uh, recall activities. So they got a good jump on things, and uh, we're hoping that if you have a recall on your rig, that we'll get through every one of those uh, before this rally is over. If you have an emergency, Say you have a bad water leak, you have a broken spring, a broken spring hanger, something bad happened to your RV. Please check in with the Grand Design employees that are up by our trader. Matter of fact, here's Karen Green right here. 
Grand Design Representative, Karen. Okay, raffles. We're gonna, we have a whole bunch of raffle prizes to give away this year. We didn't give any away last year, so this year we're gonna load you up. As a matter of fact, we had some people come up this morning that won raffle prizes at other rallies, and they go, I don't want this. Raffle it off again. So we're gonna re-gift a few things. So our friends Rick and B, well, B, made this blanket. Sorry, Rick. B <laughs> Sorry, Rick, we know, you know you didn't make it. B slaved over this baby blanket for our baby. It's so soft. It's so cozy. She did such a great job. She crocheted it. So we met them, I believe, the first time at Bash this year. That's correct. And they helped get us invited to this rally. So thank you for inviting us and thank you for the baby blanket. It's so soft. I'm going to cozy up with it. It's not for you. She oh, said, B said, it's not for you. It's not for me. It's for the baby. It's definitely not for the dogs. No, Blue, you cannot lay on this. Love this community. So awesome. So here's our entry to the chili cook-off. Wish us luck. Hopefully we do well. Feel real good about this pot of chili here. <laughs> Might be one of my best, but you know, you never know. You don't know what your audience wants, you know? You always make it to your taste, what you like, but that might not satisfy the audience. Worst case, we have leftovers and it's delicious. You make me anxious. I think I might be stuck on you. So far, what's your favorite? Number 18, there's a chicken chili. Okay. Number 35 of ven venison, venison chili, chili with no beans. Yeah, so far I'm pulling for the venison. Yeah. I mean, other than mine, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> the baby approves. Cook-off was a great success. We won't know the winner until tonight. I feel like, uh, I feel like we're up there. I think we're for sure in the top five. I feel like there was a lot of chit chat about number 55 so that was ours number 55 we'll see i heard it and i saw a lot of people's faces when they're trying it so that's a good sign There's a um, lot of, what do you call it scuttlebutt what? <laughs> that's, what that's the word right when so when you're talking about something everyone's sure. like kind of talking about it what's the scuttlebutt they were scuttlebutting about our chili is that what was going on i don't know but people are flagging us oh. down so we should go over people's here. A few moments later. So we did it. Yes, we did it. Our we won the chili cook-off. The camera died, so we're filming on the phone. Yes, the best camera is the camera that you have. So we won, we won the chili cook-off. Uh, we had a score of 8.75 out of 10. And then there was second place was 8.3. And then I think third was at 8.1. And... We got a cool apron, and Renee, we're coming for you. We stepped up our chili game. You know who you are. Look at that. Look at that. This is you. This is all you. I did nothing. You supported me. I tasted. You tasted. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to tell you that this is our first traditional RV rally. The only other rallies we've been to have been escapers rallies, which are structured differently. Um, there's more activities happening on the weekends and less things happening midweek. This is your traditional RV rally where it's like a Thursday to Sunday kind of a thing and there's seminars and gatherings and all sorts of activities happening 
each of those days. Yeah, I think they assume that people are not working like Thursday and Friday, but we were both working Thursday and Friday. Yeah, I mean, your typical RV rally is mostly retirees, which is pretty much the crowd here mm -hmm. for the most part, which is fine. I think um, it was actually like 50-50, they asked earlier. Oh, really? It was looked, that close? People raised hands, it looked like maybe 60-40. Oh, well, that's cool. But yeah, so we were just, we were working during the week, um, not able to participate in everything, but we're just trying to take advantage of the time that we have left here on the weekend. We did the uh, cornhole. cornhole tournament, which but we failed must, miserably at. We failed miserably, but we won the chili cook-off, so, you know. Can't win them all. All right, and tonight is the last night, and we're gonna go listen to the Border Hookups. They've, they're playing some live music right now. And one last campfire at that big Massive old- Massive campfire. Biggest campfire Ooh, I've ever seen. We did win a freaking sweet pot set. I'd never heard of these, and apparently they're like a big deal. Magma. Go get the box. They're magmas. Fierce competition out there. There are a lot of people involved. Yeah. It should be, uh, it's probably gonna be long, honestly. They're doing multiple first rounds because there's six boards. Yeah, they don't have, I mean, that's a lot of boards over there, but they don't quite have enough for, you know, whatever. How many people here? 400? Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea how many signed up, but it seems like there's quite a few that uh, aren't yet playing that have signed up already, and we are one of those. So we're just spectators right now. Just, Open it out. 